Hi, my name is Abhishek Rai. I work for BMC Cloud Lifecycle Management product. Today I'm going to talk about how you can configure a common requestable offering using single service blueprint and service offering for hybrid cloud scenarios. The plan is to enable cloud admins to explain the capabilities and value proposition of BMC CLM for provisioning in hybrid cloud, configure option choices for hybrid cloud offering, service governance attacks configuration for placement. Once you're done with this configuration, an end user or a cloud admin will be able to provision a stack or a VM in public or in private cloud using a common requestable offering. You can also use this configuration as a base to build the complex offering. You can also be able to manage the underlying resources very easily because you'll have a very less resources to manage. For example, one requestable offering, one service offering, and one service blueprint. This slide talks about how you can optimize your resources and services once you're done with this configuration. In this slide, on our right hand side, I've got private cloud location A, location B, and public cloud, and I am using Amazon Web Services in this example. On the left hand side, I've got two users, user ABC and user XYZ, and both are using a common requestable offering with an option choices to support hybrid cloud scenarios. In the middle of the screen, I'm using Service Governor, which will uh, help you to place your services based on the policies and capacity. I've got three scenarios to explain how this configuration is going to help you to optimize your resources and services. In the first scenario, ABC and user is going to use this common requestable offering, but he will be choosing an option called private cloud and submit a request. Once he submits a request, it goes to service governor and based on the policy and capacity, it will be placed in private cloud location A. In the second scenario, user XYZ will be using the same requestable offering and again, he will choose private cloud as an option choice and submit a request. It goes to service governor and based on the policies and capacity you have defined, it will be placed in location B. In the third scenario, ABC and user is going to use the same requestable offering, but this time he will choose public cloud as an option choice and will submit a request which will go to service governor and service governor will take care of placing that based on, based on the policies and capacity to the public cloud. Let's take a look at the detailed configuration of this scenario on the cloud portal. Okay, I'm on the cloud admin portal and I've got my service blueprint selected. So I'm using a very basic service blueprint over here. This is a resource set and it has got a tag group and tag called resource set as a tag group and all as a tag on the resource set. I've got a compute. It has got uh, hardware, CPU and memory configuration. And then I'm using a default cloud platform. And in this case, it's VMware and a default installable resource. I've got a one NIC and it has got dynamic IP address configured over here. And it has got network type as a tag group and management as a tag and the nick number is zero. Let's take a look at the option choices, which is playing a key role over here. So let's switch to the option editor. In this, I've got an option called hybrid cloud installable resource choices, and it has got two option choices in it. One is public and one is private. So select that and click on the option editor. It has got three configuration in it. One is installable resource, and this configuration will help you to select a specific installable resource in this configuration, I'm identifying the resource set using a tag, resource set and all. We saw that it was placed on the resource set in the service blueprint. And I've got uh, installable resource, which is one of the Amazon machine instance. You can uh, select any of them available. Then I've got deployment method tag. As you know that this configuration will help you in pushing the information of network container. So in this case, as this option choice is for public, you are selecting a logical data center based on the tag group NC and tag public southeast hyphen 1B. And the third configuration will help you in uh, pushing the tags for your networks. So in this, I'm identifying my resource set using resource set all and then NIC identifier. So we saw that there was uh, NIC zero configured in the service blueprint and it was configured with network type, tag group and uh, management as a tag. Once I'm identifying those NIC, I'm replacing the existing tag group and tag with a new tag group and tag, which is network type and customer in this case. So let's take a look at the uh, configuration of uh, private option, private cloud options. So in this, I've got again installable resource and I'm using RHEL. This deployment method tag will help me in pushing a tag group and tag for network container placement. So tag group is network NC and the tag is M hyphen NC in my case. And then this one is going to add the additional NIC 
and my service blueprint. So I'm identifying my resource set using tag group as a resource set, tag all. Nick number is one because Nick zero was already configured in my service blueprint. Nick tag is network type app network. And I'm going to use network policies, which is configured in service governor section. We'll talk about that in a moment. Once done, let's move to the service governor uh, workspace and talk about network policy. So in this, I've got tag source as a service blueprint, tag group as network type. Let's take a look at the network container policies. So I've got tag source as service blueprint, tag group as net NC. Okay, so once that is done, we'll move to the resources sections and we'll talk about network container configurations. So I've got network container for uh, private cloud offering placement and let's take a look at uh, the configuration. So this network container has got uh, tag group NC and tag M hyphen NC. Let's take a look at the uh, networks. So the app network is the network which I'm pushing using the option choices and it has got tags as network type and app network as a tag. Once that is done, let's take a look at the uh, LDC configured for placing your services in public cloud. So in this, I've got NC as a network uh, tag group, network container tag group, and then I've got uh, tag as public hyphen southeast hyphen one v which I'm pushing it on the service blueprint on the fly. Let's click on the next. And I've got customer network over here and I've got tags and ta tag group and tags configured over here. This is the same tag group and tag which I'm uh, pushing on the fly in the service blueprint. Let's click on cancel. Let's go ahead and submit a request and see how it works. I'm going to use CLM and user portal which got introduced in CLM 4.5 release. So this is my requestable offering. Let's click on that. Let's define a service name, for example, uh, public cloud host name, for example, demo. Username could be admin. Okay, so this is one of the option choices which we talked earlier. It has those two option choices, private and then public. I'm going to use public so that I placed my uh, services in the public cloud. These are the specific option choices for uh, private cloud offering. I'll choose none for both of them. Once done, I'll click on add to cart and then I'll click on proceed to checkout. I'll review the information which I have selected in the previous screen and then I will click on next and then I'll click on submit request. And from here I can see the progress of the offering. Let's wait for a moment and then I will move to the Amazon Web Services Console to see the progress of the uh, offering. Let's refresh the screen. Okay, so I can see that our instance is being provisioned. Okay, here we go. You can see demo was the host name which we chose earlier and then CLM45 is basically um, a prefix, host name prefix. Now let's go ahead and uh, switch to the catalog again. Select your requestful offering and uh, submit a request in private cloud. So let's go ahead and this time type private cloud as a service name, host name again, demo. Okay, this time we're going to use private as an option choices. And these, as I mentioned earlier, these are the specific uh, choices for private cloud offering. I will choose sand, then gold as a compute pool. Then I'll click on add to cart, proceed to checkout, click next, and then submit a request. So from here you can review the progress of your offering. Okay, let's switch to the BS and see if a job has been created there or not. So, Okay, so we can see that the job has been created and you can see uh, the hostname prefix and then the hostname which you have chosen. I hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for watching this.